Hi everyone, my name is Sanu and in this video, I'm going to break down what is the data analyst and data scientist role, what are the skills that is required, what are the technologies that is required, what, how do you prepare for it, how do you interview prepare for it, how, what do companies look for and how you can apply for these roles. So recently I have researched a lot of product based companies, especially companies like Netflix, Amazon, Airbnb, Google, Uber and many companies are giving a lot of importance to data engineering so what's happening with the new ai thing is that data is power data is everything that you need and many more companies want data scientists data analysts who can make use of the data and make it available to the end users so in this video i'm going to break down what are the skills that is required what are the technologies that you need to learn and let's go ahead and talk about it this video is sponsored and brought to you by a few jobs and they have an amazing portal so if you go ahead and look at the a few job portal you will see that there are a lot of opportunities for data scientists data analysts and if you want to go ahead and prepare for this you should definitely go ahead and check out their job portal this is completely free you also have the skills that they require you have everything mentioned right there on that website so go ahead and try that out so now let's talk about what are the data analyst roles. What's the difference between these two roles? So the first role is data analyst. Now the people who are working for as a data analyst, they focus on reporting, dashboarding, and the, on descriptive analysis, right? While data scientists include something of machine learning as well. So it will include your ML modeling, your experimentation. You would require some deeper statistical analysis. That is the difference between core data analyst and data scientist role. What are the skills that you require? Let's talk about that. So in this video, I'm going to cover the complete roadmap, talking about the foundation, the core skills, and the projects and the advanced tools you need to the job prep as well. So let's talk about the foundational skills. Right? You definitely require mathematics and statistics. So you require knowledge of probability, hypothesis testing, distributions. You also require knowledge of Excel. So it's still relevant for analysts and Excel, mainly Microsoft Excel is very, very important if you want to go into the data analyst field. Now, the other thing that you require on the programming side is going to be Python or R. So these are the two popular coding languages that people use for data analysts. And if you want to go ahead and transition into that, you should be well versed in Python and R. Now, there are a lot of free resources from which you can prepare for if you want to aim for these roles. But sometimes we need some guidance. And that is where ACU Jobs course comes in. So let's talk about a few of the things that ACU Jobs will provide you. Now, you have module. So you have every module, right? First, they will teach you Python. Then they'll teach you statistics, then they'll teach you web scraping, they'll teach you OOPs in Python, so they will completely explore Python in depth. Then they'll go through the statistics, data exploration, and as you can see, there are a lot of modules and you will have a complete roadmap that you have to follow. Sometimes when we are using free resources, it's not feasible for everyone and not everyone can maintain that kind of consistency. And that is where these courses are very helpful. And not just that, if you see that there are a lot of things on this portal as well. So there's a gym section where you can go ahead and practice as many problems as you want on data analysis. So there are a lot of SQL related questions. There's a lot of analysis related questions, and you will never run out of questions here. So I always say that practice is the key and having this one stop platform that can help you get all of these things in one place where you can practice, solve questions is a great resource. So you also have sessions so any mock interview any sq you can take mock interview sessions you can take mentorship sessions from the mentors who are working at a few jobs so along with that you also have a session for soft skills so soft skills is never technical skills always need to be combined with soft skills you can be a very good data engineer very good data analysis but if you're not able to communicate your thoughts in interviews then it's going to reflect badly and that is why you need to have something related some knowledge about soft skills as well and you can learn about how do you improve your english so all of the companies all of the big tech companies all of the product based companies only conduct interviews in english so you need to be proficient in english and you don't need to know very fancy words, but having that proper grammatical knowledge of English is very important. And they have all of this in this platform as well, not English proficiency, you have communication skills, you also have your problem solving. So as you know, in interviews, whenever you are talking about some 
problem you need to explain that as well right and how do you explain that having that kind of knowledge to explain things in the right way is also very important and this platform provides you so that was the foundational skills that you require the core technical skills that you require for data analyst is for both of them you require sql right you need to know joins you need to know window functions you need to know cts sub queries you need to know about data cleaning. So pandas and numpies are going to be helpful here. You need to know about the various data visualization tools. So there's Tableau, there's Power BI, there's Matplotlib, there's Seaborn. So you need to know about all of these data visualization tools. Now, talking about specifically for data scientists, data scientists have that extra ML part to it. So you need to know machine learning. So you need to know Skikit Learn. You can know about XGBoost. And you can also go a bit in depth if you want to. And it's completely option. You can learn about deep learning. So you can probably explore TensorFlow or PyTorch. And you need to know about feature engineering and model evaluation. So like I said previously, data scientists and data analysts have many things in common, which is your path, probability skills, your mathematical skills, your programming language. But data scientists have that extra ml part to it which you have to focus on if you want to aim for the data scientist role what are the tools and technologies that you require you need to know about jupyter notebooks right you need to know about google collab you need to know about git and github you should know about docker and cloud so you can pick anything from gcp to aws to azure just the basics you don't need to go in depth you just need to know how you can use it for your data analysis or data engineering so you also need to know about BigQuery and Snowflake for data scale. If your job has a portal called projects where you can build projects, there are projects specifically for you. So you can build sports analytics, sales analytics, you have retail analytics, movie rental analysis, and all of these are going to be very useful for your resume. So in your resume, if you have the tools and technologies mentioned, but if you have not mentioned the corresponding um, projects that you have built to using those tools and technologies then that won't add a lot of value and that is why this tool is very helpful so that covers the project part of it now what are the best learning resources there are learning resources there are many youtube channels on youtube there's you can go ahead and go to kaggle kaggle has a lot of courses and a lot of op program contests as well you can probably read some books like python for data analysis and storytelling with data and Overall, in this platform, again, you have a job portal, you have gym contest, you on even on ACU Jab, you have contests related to data analytics. So as you can see, there are contests related to DA aptitude tests, and there are past tests that you can go ahead and attempt, or there are upcoming new tests, and there are some live contests as well that you can attend. So not only can you attend, you can also compete with others, see where you are actually ranking in the job market. What are companies actually looking for? So in 2025, companies are primarily looking for strong SQL and data storytelling, right? You need to be very good with SQL. That is like a basic thing that you need to know for data, for transitioning into the data speed. Now, you need to know problem solving with models that is for the data scientists you need to have a good portfolio of projects so as you can see the projects that we discussed you can build your own projects and you need to have a good portfolio plus you need to have strong communication skills any internship freelance or open source contributions will be a huge plus for your resume and for entry level you can probably just focus on you can have get some certifications even if your job will provide you a certification after you do the course so you can do that and that is all that companies look for. Strong SQL, problem solving, portfolio, plus communication skills, plus some kind of certification related to that. And how do you actually go ahead and apply to this? So three things, you need to be, you need to have a good resume, you need to have set up a good LinkedIn profile. So on your resume, tailor your resume according to the role. So what if you're applying for the data scientist role, make sure you show that skills. If you're applying for the data analyst role, make sure you are showing that as well. And coming to the, resume what how you need to showcase your projects you need to follow the xyz format you need to show that i did x by y is using z right so those are the things you need to use action verbs and metrics you can also use any ai tool to defactor your resume for you and make sure that it has a score of 80 plus on some resume screening tools so you need to practice mock interviews if your job has a portal where you can follow the mock interviews and that will help you in preparing for the real life interview scenarios and talking about the path to growth so data analyst role would generally look from you go from an analyst to you go to a senior analyst 
and then you can transition to the data scientist role from which you can also become an ML engineer or a lead. And as you know, all companies are focusing on AI ML so much and this is a very good and prospective field that you can follow. Coming to the summary of everything that we discussed, we talked about what is the difference between data scientist, data analyst role, we talked about the foundational core skills that you require, the extra tools and technologies that you need to learn. And we also talked about what are the things that companies are looking for when it comes to your resume, when it comes to your LinkedIn and how you can prepare for that. And that is a good comprehensive roadmap for your data scientist and data analyst role. And thank you for sticking by. If you like this video, make sure you comment, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next one. Until then, bye bye.